Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be building a bedroom using all the new items that they added in the Bloxburg update. So I've laid a few out here, and if you guys have seen my builds, I'll put a few on screen now, you will know that this stuff is exactly my style. So I thought it'd be a really fun little challenge to build a house with it all. So I'm gonna build the outside really quickly. I think I just want five at the front. Then on this side, I'm gonna add like this circle shape here, and this is gonna be a massive window, I think. And then on this side, it's going to be a little bit different. And then in here is going to be like a massive closet. Now, as you guys know, in rooms, I normally would do like a checkered flooring like this. But today I'm feeling different and I'm just going to do like some wooden planks. And guys, I want the room to be taller than this, but I don't want it to be two stories. I think that's too much. But I did recently learn a building hack where you can make rooms like one and a half stories high. And it involves using the basic shapes. So first of all, you're going to want to actually add like walls along the second floor. You're then going to want to get the square basic shape and stretch it out. Then you use the transform tool and you lift it up to about halfway through a wall. And I think that's good. And then you just repeat this all through the room and make sure you fill up all the spaces. And of course, guys, because I'm doing an exterior build here, I don't have to worry about it sticking out on the edges. But if we go inside, you can now see we've got like a medium story room. And you might be thinking, oh, how do you add wall trims? Well, don't worry, I've got you covered on that as well. You actually get these custom ones and then you can put these all along the wall. And then we use our friend, the transform tool again to push them up. And how cool is this, guys? Like, I feel like it's such a pro builder doing this. I'm definitely not, but it's just so cool, like, how you can make everything custom now. So let me add these wall trims all around quickly, because it's going to take quite a bit of time. Now, that was the last one. And I'm not going to lie, guys, it is quite expensive to do that, but I think it's worth it. And then, as you can see, we've got a couple of gaps around, but I'm just going to use these pillars to fill them. And you might think, oh, that's too small. Well, that's another good thing about Bloxburg, is you can just resize the pillars, too. So I'm going to put these in each of the corners so the last wall trims i want to add are really simple you can just place these straight down and now we finally have the base for our bedroom so i'm actually feeling like a blue vibe for the bedroom i think and i thought about adding wallpaper but i thought i don't want to make it like too detailed so early on and now let's start with where things are going to be going so let's hop straight into new and we all know what bed I'm going to be using this amazing new one and then I've been really wanting to use this it looks so cool doesn't it guys and with like the higher ceiling I think it looks way better now as you can see there is like a little thing here that would just be floating so I'm going to put a round rod on here and just link that straight up to the ceiling but I think I want to place down all the furniture before we start coloring everything anyway normally I put some like of these tables next to the bed but because this room is so big I think we should actually up Upgrade to these we should probably use the new lamps as well because how cute are these and then we can actually use some of these wooden toys that they added as well oh guys i'm obsessed with this bedroom already like this is just such a whole new vibe for blocksburg i do also want to add some of these like string lights along the wall and oh my gosh wow they go very low i might add them as like individuals instead a bit more like that i think that looks better oh my gosh wouldn't you guys love for this to be your bedroom i know i would and then they added a bed cover but i actually don't know what this is guys maybe we should just add it anyway because you know it's part of the new update and honestly i don't want to overcrowd this area too much with like wardrobes or anything and so i might just add some bookshelves along here then we can start by putting just some books on them. But like I said, this bedroom is going to be mostly the new update items. So maybe we could add some like sunglasses on here. And oh my gosh, there's slippers. We definitely have to add some of these coming out of the bed. We can add some of the new perfumes. Then this top one can be face masks because, you know, we all need face masks in life. And I think that looks okay. Then the last thing that I've just remembered they added is like a bench, which I would love to put at the end of the bed. <gasps> How good does that look? I am in love with this area of the bedroom, guys. I like how it looks a little bit tacky because I feel like that's sort of the style. And also, I've completely forgotten to add windows in. Like, I don't know what I'm actually doing. So let's go and add them in now. And I'm going to resize them to make them just a little bit bigger. And then because like the bed and stuff's here, I don't think we need to add too much else onto the windows. And actually, guys, I don't really think I want curtains. They didn't look very good. So maybe we should go for blinds instead, a more classical look. And there we go. And now I think we should probably color all the stuff over here. And now we're going to add some massive pillows on. And honestly, normally I do them so big, but I don't like them being this big because like you can't really see the headboard. 
And as you can see, I'm just adding just a random assortment of pillows and I tried to make it look as good as I could. And we spent so long on that tiny area, but the next area shouldn't take so long. Also, I do just want to add the doors in as well. And I think a bedroom like this deserves a big double door like that. Now, anyway, let's add the windows in here. And I wonder how actually tall can we make these? Oh my gosh, we can actually make them really tall. And I've put all three in and I think that looks really cool. I'm loving this. And then the only new chair that they've added is like this massive basket one. But honestly, I feel like this kind of goes with this bedroom's vibe. Then we're gonna have to get our old friend, this structural beam here and make sure that these aren't just floating in midair. I do feel like some curtains are necessary on these ones though, because these are more of like ceiling to floor windows. And I don't think that looks too bad, but I do feel like we need something up there. So I might just add some of these LED lights. And I think that looks really weird, but it's fine for now. Anyway, let's go back into new and see what sort of chest of drawers we could put in the middle here. <gasps> Actually, no need for a chest of drawers. Let's put this little ottoman. And then just behind it, we'll put this. Then of course, we're gonna be grabbing our new lamps and a flower vase. It doesn't look its best, but I don't think it looks too awful. So I'm just gonna leave it for now. We can always come back and change it. Then anyway, I am gonna add some more doors over here because that is gonna lead into the closet. And to be honest, I might just add pillars all along this wall here as sort of like, custom wall paneling if you see what i mean but i'm not actually going to decorate the closet now but i might add some of like the chests of drawers and stuff outside or maybe do you think there's enough room for wardrobes here because these could look really cool oh <gasps> yeah there is and i might also add like these here so it's like sort of a bit of privacy around the wardrobe <gasps> i love that but we'll just add it on one side because i feel like if we add it on both yeah that might look a little bit weird Maybe on this side we can add a mirror, which by the way, they already had a fancy mirror in the game, so we can't complain about that. Anyway, over here I wanted to have like our workspace, so we're gonna get a desk, and you best believe that we are using the new stool as our seat. And yes, this room is fancy, but it's also gonna be tech savvy and have a computer on it, because we're gonna put like the vanity in the closet. So this is more like the electronic desk, and then in here we're gonna put like the fancy desk with makeup and stuff and like jewelry's all gonna go in there with like this desk or something. Anyway, we're jumping ahead. I think maybe a lamp on here would be smart. And then in the very top, just some books. And then over here, I'm just gonna add this little bench and this is gonna be like the get ready area. But I do feel like the walls look a little bit bare over here. So I might just add some more of these shelves along here. And then over here, I feel like we should just have like a dresser just filled with random things. And you know what, I'm gonna put another pair of slippers over here. So this is like meant to be the shoes. And oh my gosh, I've just realized these are like the first pairs of shoes Bloxburg's ever added. So I'm adding a coat stand and I'm gonna add a coat rack as well. And then I'm actually gonna try something. I wonder if we put like a towel on here, will it look like a coat? It kind of does, doesn't it? Then I am gonna add a carpet in the middle. And honestly, guys, I think that is the main bedroom done. So now all we have is the closet. But to be fair, this is actually kind of a major part. So I'm just going to make the walls plain white because most of them are going to be covered up anyway. Oh my gosh, guys, they've added new industrial closets. Or were they already in the game? I don't know. Anyway, the traditional ones are the ones that go with this bedroom. So we're going to add these on either side here. And to make it even, I'm going to have to add these pillars along the back wall. And oh my gosh, these are $672 per each one. Anyway, like I said earlier, I wanted to put this one in the middle and oh my gosh, yes, it fits perfectly. Then on the other side, I'm going to add some more closets, but I'm not going to add a desk. I'm instead going to add a wardrobe because how cool does that look in the closet? And actually, you know what? What would happen if we like put all wardrobes along here? Would that look good? <gasps> oh my gosh, have we just found a new building hack? I love that. The only thing is it doesn't go up to the ceiling, but does that look okay? I feel like it kind of does anyway. You know what? If we add these behind it, just put these all along the wall. Okay, I actually think that looks quite cool, guys. And then maybe at the end, we could just have like a chest of drawers. Then of course we need some ottomans around the place because it is a closet. And now we can get started adding all the new decorations. So I did want to first start off by adding, where is it? The necklace stands first, because look at how cool these are. So I wanted to put the watch there as well. Oh my gosh, and a mirror, we need one of these. Then I think, what's the most essential things we should put along here? Hairspray, guys. If you have messy hair, you're gonna be needing hairspray to sort that out. And oh my gosh, we should put this sleeping mask so we can get this on before we go to bed. And you know what might look cool? If we put like a canopy over the top of our vanity. Actually, that just looks messy. <laughs> and that, guys, is our closet done. So the last thing that we need to do is, like, add the lighting in here. Because obviously we don't want the, these lights. We're going to use structural beams. But, of course, I know that these are just going to, like, go straight across the middle of the room. But we can use the transform tool in a minute to push them up. So don't worry. 
And okay, now we've got them all in, and I, I think some of these are wonky, but it should be fine. We can now transform, lift these up like a crane onto the roof. I'm literally obsessed with the transform tool, guys. I would recommend it. And honestly, guys, that has completely transformed the room for me. So now let's add the chandelier because obviously we're having a chandelier in here. Like, what do you think this is? Okay. Oh my gosh. No, I don't want it that low. I think maybe like there should be good. Now, I think I want to make the chandelier blue just to like be iconic. And there we go, guys. I think the bedroom is finally done. That has literally taken me over an hour, but I think it's well worth it. First of all, let's appreciate the view from the outside. That does not count, guys. This is an interior build. So let's actually go inside. <gasps> this is everything I dreamed it would be. It is kind of messy, I know, but that is like the style. So like I said, over here's the getting ready area, which is beautiful. Then here's the seating area. So if you have some friends over, you can just be like, Hi guys. Anyway, this is obviously the best area. It's the bed and we can actually sleep in this. Can we? Well, it's really hard because there's so much stuff on the bed. It's like really hard to actually click on the actual bed to sleep in it. <gasps> there we go. I got it. Oh my gosh. We're buried under all the pillows. And then here's like the entryway to our closet, which is, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the closet. Honestly, it's kind of cute, kind of crazy and messy, but I love this vibe. I think the vibe of the room is like messy teenager who is super rich. So that was me building a room with all of the new items. I really hope you guys like this and I'll see you all next time.